Okay, welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the prop for the uh, power pod that we're building for the FT Flyer uh, flight test swappable aircraft. And uh, I like to try out different props: uh, one on the airplane, see how it really flies, and two in the on the bench with a watt meter and uh, see how they fly. So the first airplane that I built was that one, and I the prop I put on it was a uh, an APC uh, uh, 1047 um, so it's 10 inches long 4.7 uh, pitch and it's a slow flyer okay so it actually says uh, uh, SF on it so um, the it worked quite well okay so the second one I built I put a 1038 on it it worked reasonably well. I could probably tell a small difference, but not a lot. Okay. Then I went back to this airplane and put on a straight prop. Okay. So this is a um, GWS prop. Uh, I don't sure sure what GWS means, uh, but that's the brand of prop. And you can see it's held on with a prop saber. A prop saber looks like that, and I'll show you in detail in a minute. What a prop saber does, if it hits the ground, the prop can actually, you know, come over a little bit and save you a busted prop. Um, which can be handy. <clears throat> so this straight prop uh, is not a slow fire, but it's a 10-8 versus the 10-4-7. And I've tried it now. does very well. Probably has a little bit more zip, but not a lot. Um, so the other, so the 1047 is what I uh, usually recommend, and with that, you need a a, um, a prop adapter that looks like that. It has three millimeters uh, for the shaft size, and um, they work well. Um, the prop saber obviously looks like this. Uh, these two bolts uh, hold the prop on, and then you got nice rubber O-rings here to hold the prop on. And we'll show you that in a minute. So it's a matter of preference and choice. Uh, these props are slightly cheaper than these props, and the prop saver comes with the motor. Uh, otherwise, you got to buy this for. Two dollars and change, or something, maybe three dollars. I forget exactly how much it cost, but um, so it's probably cheaper to use the prop saver because it comes with the motor, and and with a slightly different, uh, cheaper prop. So I think for this airplane, I've gotten the APC tested, I've gotten the straight tested, and I've got an eleven, uh, a GWS eleven four seven. Uh, could try that, but I think I'm going to go with the um, uh, ten eight prop. Okay, the difference between this prop and this prop, you can see this is a ten eight. Okay, so this is called the heavy duty ten eight, and it's straight across. Whereas this one is the slow fire kind of ten eight, called an EP ten eight, and. Um, it uh, will have a different uh, flight characteristic, obviously, because of the shape of the prop. So I think I'm going to use the, the EP-108 by uh, GWS and use the prop saver for this one. So to use the prop saver, first thing you do is you slide the prop saver on, and there's two sides of the prop saver. You can see how this has... Um, Sort of a cone shape on it and this one has a smaller cone shape and the prop itself um, will fit on one side better than the other so um, this one fits best with the smaller cone on it okay and because if you put it on the other side it just won't sit down nice and straight and uh, I guess that's the same on this one too. No, um, the hole on that is different. There, you have to inspect the prop and see. For example, for this straight prop, 
the other side fits better on, okay? But for this slow fire type prop, this side fits better on, okay? So I'm going to have that side out, and uh, so we'll go ahead and put this on with the, the smaller of the two cones fitting that way, okay? And then I'll just hand tighten that. And then I'll use a two and a half, uh, two and a half millimeter um, hex to tighten that up. Okay, so the prop saver is now mounted. Okay, that's good and tight. So there's the prop saver on the motor. And now, not all of the GWS props will fit this. This is a 1047 prop, uh, but it has these extra collars on it, okay? And uh, those extra collars don't allow for it to sit properly on the um, on the prop saver. And you can't, this is too thick to use the prop adapter, so I try to avoid these, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to use the uh, EP108, and that should fit nicely on there. And so what I'll do is I'll put a rubber band on the bottom, put the prop on, Stretch the rubber band across and, well, easier said than done. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so this prop is meant to um, move like that if it strikes the ground, okay? So that is the 10.8, and you can see I've got uh, well more than an inch worth of clearance uh, with the wheels the way I bent them. Um, if I if I was going to use an 11 inch prop, I would have made these gears longer. Um, so if you want to try the 11 inch prop, make a longer gear. And so that's the prop I'm going to use. We'll find out how well it works, and uh, try to avoid these kind of props because they don't fit on the prop savers. Uh, these won't fit on the prop savers either. That's why you have a, a um, prop adapter and save the extra rubber band because every once in a while they will break, but they're pretty sturdy little rubber bands. Uh, actually, they're an O-ring and uh, hold on quite well. So thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.